Good morning YouTube family and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I think it's going to be a really special video and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it because today I'm going to show you a real day in the life and show you some of the quality family time that I get to spend because obviously I'm a big advocate of spending time with your family, your loved ones, your friends and everything else. So today that is what we're going to be doing. So welcome to another video. If you're new here, Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so we can keep on changing the narrative of Africa while spreading positivity and while changing the image that is portrayed most of the time by the Western media. And if you are already a subscriber, you've already been to my channel, welcome back and let's enjoy the video. It is an absolutely beautiful day right now in Accra, Ghana. It is around half past 10, so not too late. And we're going to get some drinks together, go sit by the pool, bring up some Lalo, some, and just just have a really really amazing family day especially during this time of year it's so important to spend time with family especially with it being such a crazy year that everyone has had and this year normally something with to do with training i try and train every single day but being back in ghana i've just been so relaxed so just like de-stressed i haven't even had the thought to train so we've been here probably around seven eight days I haven't even picked up a dumbbell, haven't even stepped foot in the gym. So maybe today I'll also do that just to, you know, get the blood flowing and also work off some of the food that I ate on Christmas Day because I ate quite a lot. So with that being said, let's go downstairs, let's get everything ready, let's head to the pool and let's introduce everyone to the family and just see what we get up to. Okay, whilst avoiding all the cats, I'll show you what we have prepared to take down with us. This is also actually a really, really lovely basket. It was given as a gift basket with some things inside. So now it doubles up also as our pool basket we can take. It's got these lovely leather handles that we can just like flick in there, close it and then carry it like a briefcase. So let's have a look inside what we're going to be taking today. It is pretty stacked because now it is just after lunchtime. We haven't eaten any lunch because we had a late breakfast, which was really good. So inside here we have some Arabic dates. Dates are one of my favorite things to eat. So we have like pistachio ones, ones with uh, orange inside, some macadamia nuts and then some walnuts. So that's super, super nice. And yeah, this is just like a general trail mix. People in America know that these are super popular. They're their trail mixes. Then we have some cups because we also have, over here we have some Johnny Walker whiskey because my brother really likes whiskey. And then we have some gin this side for myself and my mom. And then inside here, you've got to stay hydrated. So we have our waters, we have our tonics, and we have like our Sprouts or our lemon flavored fizzy drink, if you can call it that. A packet of chips. It feels like we're going there for a lifetime. So we're just going there for a few hours. And then these, I'm not too sure what these are. They look like miniature muffins. We found them in the cupboard. So we thought, why not throw that in there along with these also. These also look like back in the day, they were called Twinkies. So these look really, really good. I've been on like a chocolate binge recently, so I'm really looking forward to that. So we're just going to pack all of this in nicely, get a few more things out the cupboard, and then we're going to head down there so we can just close it up, latch it together, and then off we go. And then last but not least, we need some things to keep us busy at the pool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two massive lilos out. The one unfortunately got a puncture and we're never able to fix it. And then these things on the side, we love taking these with because you can float on them, do some like water aerobics on them and it's really, really fun. So I'm going to pull that out now and then got to make sure I don't turn into a red tomato. So we have some SPA 50, like the highest ones you can get. We've got this, fill it with some peanut butter, give it to the dog so that he does not absolutely destroy the whole house while we're out. Some caps, some caps, some sunglasses in here because also my eyes really battle underneath the bright sun and then just some of our towels got the thing moved here so now we just need to put it all together and then we can head out back at my favorite place in the complex in the compound this is by the swimming pool so as you can see we have our chairs lined up here we got the towels and as i said earlier we have the dates set up we've got some of the beverages here the snacks and everything like that and the pool is just looking absolutely amazing. We also have a Lalo, if Clayton quickly just switches around there, you can see that we've got the Lalo in the water there. We've got one of the pool noodles because it's just nice to just use it as a flotation device and just chill. But I was checking it's around 34, 35 degrees today. The humidity is up, you can really feel it. I know a lot of people have asking me to see a tour of everything here and by the house and all that. That'll be in one of the upcoming videos. So just stay patient for that. Really looking forward to this. Just spending some time, just relaxing, soaking up the sun and just having a lovely afternoon. So I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later and show you what we've been doing. 
this is where I've been sitting for probably like the last 30 minutes because as you can see it is the last area where the sun is like creeping through the rest of the pool is pretty dark you can see my mom and Clayton down there Clayton's busy making us some drinks so I've just been enjoying the sun trying to catch a little bit of the tan with the palm trees and the other trees that side not a cloud in the sky and then Clayton's busy making me a drink now and he's going to bring it to me so I really really feel like I'm in the holiday spirit now lying on the lava I haven't lain on one of these for like years and years and years so it just feels so so good it's getting a little bit windy actually a little bit here in the corner but the sun's still out the sun is looking beautiful and then what I've been doing is when I need a drink I ask Clayton to make it for me I position myself right now with like my feature so I'm actually risking my prize position which is my camera right now so I hope I don't fall in the pool and then I just slowly push myself back but you can see how dark it is and there's literally no sun at any part of the pool and then when I go this way I can see my mom and Clayton in the background and then he brings me a drink then I turn around and I push myself and go all the way back that way so I hope everyone's enjoying the video so far it's something completely different not a busy day it's just a day that we're spending with the family having a good time and it's just absolutely beautiful you can see some more of the light coming through over there but I'm just gonna get my drink carry on sitting here and just soaking up as much sun as I physically can do We have just finished up right now at the pool. They busy carrying everything up. You can still see the sun is still shining there. But this side, we were left completely in the shade. So what I need to do is throw the cap on, grab the glasses. Don't forget the sun cream, my cell phone over there. And then we're gonna head back. But all in all, it was such a beautiful day by the pool. My mom was even saying it felt like for the first time in a very long time she was completely on holiday, just sitting back, just relaxing. So I'm going to quickly run, catch up with them. Now that I'm back in my home away from home, which is the gym, I normally live in this place, as I said this morning, had no motivation, haven't really been wanting to train, just been enjoying it, but see this how today went so well, I thought. Let's finish this day on a high, it is around quarter past five, let's hit a gym session. My mom and brother just went for a run, taking the dog with them, gonna have a run with them, so I was like, you know what, I feel like having a gym session, so I'm probably just gonna be like 35, 40 minutes, have a nice little bit of an upper body session, and then after that, go home, see what we're making for dinner and enjoy the rest of the evening. But next door over here, you can see that this is a new complex that has just been developed. And I don't know how well you can see it, but they actually have a swimming pool underneath the whole building here, which is cool. But in the same sense, it probably gets no light in comparison to ours that is like completely open. So very cool, but I think I still prefer this. I don't know if you guys prefer it being completely enclosed, it makes more sense with space, but I still think I prefer this one.
ended up having quite a good workout. I didn't want to do anything too crazy since I hadn't been in like 10 days a week. So I thought, let's just take it slow, build up into it. But it's a beautiful gym facility. It's a beautiful day and it's just awesome being in Ghana. And that's why I was actually scared coming to Ghana this time. I'm always scared coming to Ghana, no matter what time of the year it is. Whenever I've managed to any chance, even for five days a week, four weeks, a month, longer like I am now. And that is just because I just love the time I spend just so much. I love spending the quality time with my family. I love the weather. I love the people. I love the environment. The fact that I go walking on the street, everyone talks to each other and no animosity. I just don't see that anywhere else. I don't see that in South Africa. I don't see that in Norway. And I don't really see that in Europe. So I always, once I'm back here, I just get so comfortable. It just feels like home. That's why when people even ask me, where's my home? I always tell them my home's in Ghana. I don't say South Africa. I don't say Belgium. I say my home's in Ghana, but I'm currently living in Brussels. I'm currently living in Belgium. But that's why whenever I come here, it's just so always so, so hard to go back because it's just so perfect here. Obviously, no country is without its problems. That's where it is anywhere in the world. But I think in Ghana really embraces everyone, embraces foreigners. And the whole culture, the people and everything is just nothing like I've ever ever experienced before so that's just something I wanted to touch on now that I finished gym I was just feeling so grateful like six o'clock at night it's still nice and daylight outside had some music playing had the air con on and before I head back hopefully my brother and mom are back from their run so they can let me in the house because I didn't bring keys this time but all in all I just absolutely love this country thank you to everyone that supports me thank you to everyone that sees the vision that I see they want to change the narrative and we're just all working together to do that and we just keep on growing together and getting better together each and every single day as long as there's people watching youtube videos my youtube videos i'll still keep on making content it's something that i love to do so right now i'm going to head back see what the rest of the family is doing and hopefully we have something good to eat for dinner because i always get super hungry after a workout dinner is served and as you can see over here i'm not too sure what everything is all i know is we have some tofu we have some spinach paste some spinach sauce, some falafel on some rice, and then some hummus. All this is homemade hummus from a company called Devawa. I've shouted them out before. They're really, really good if you ever want to check them out. All of this food is made by them. It is absolutely delicious. Clayton's got exactly the same. My mom's getting something a little bit different. But I just wanted to conclude the video there. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had a good day. Just me and Clayton here so long. Just waiting for our mom, she's just finishing up and then we've got the dog waiting on the floor also. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude the video here, just end up the day spending some quality time together. So if you are new here, be sure to click that subscribe button so we can grow together, get better together and improve little by little each and every single day while spreading Ghana, while spreading Africa to the world and let's keep on changing the narrative and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.